Heidi ho boys and girls welcome to the neighborhood can you say project a boys and girls I knew that you could uh, I got a couple projects to be to work on eventually I'm gonna work on my Stanley cook set but that's for later maybe another day um, we're gonna work on stuff anyway for uh, Camping on the motorcycle. That's my Tensor 4 stand behind me to hold up my Amok Dramore hammock, which is not set up at the moment. Um, so I plan on hopefully doing some bike camping uh, with the hammock. And I'm borrowing some ideas from backpackers. Ah, shh. There's a dog behind me wanting to add her two cents and wants me to throw the ball so these are common backpacking meals which are great for uh, motorcycles too uh, if you ever happen to uh, uh, use any of these you know that sometimes the like this is chicken and dumplings and sometimes the chicken doesn't dehydrate all the way or the dumplings de don't dehydrate all the way or um, but if you uh, pour the water in close it like it says and then put it inside of a cozy of some sort it helps it cook faster and more efficiently so hopefully you're not breaking your teeth on the chicken chunks or the uh, whatever chunks vegetable chunks happens to be in your pouch a lot of you hikers and campers don't like these because of the price i like them because they taste good and what little i've been camping this the last two years it's not a great expense um i've tried other brands so far this is the only one i like I'm sure there's some other good ones. I just haven't found them yet. People working behind me. Sorry. Yeah. I recently discovered that this works just as well. And uh, you get plenty of calories and uh, pour the water in, seal it. And uh, I'm going to find out soon if that works just as well or not. So, what we have here to make our cozy is a car windshield thing. I, I hate to tear it, cut it apart because <clears throat> check out the cool design. But I haven't used it and this was for our old car and uh, it's been sitting. It's still like new. <sighs> so, what I do know is you need to lay down your your uh ah that's obnoxious your uh food about this far because you're going to fold the lid over and uh probably going to switch it around oh well, yeah i don't know i think i want the foil side inside to reflect the heat back so, that should give me plenty of room. Let's uh, just cut down the sides here. If I can cut through this. And the reason I'm cutting this thing off is it's at an angle and it would just confuse me because I'm easily confused. Sorry, priorities. Um, now you want it. You want to be able to fit the pouch in there. Uh -oh. Don't go away. That's. The fold would be perfect, but that's too wide, I think. 
But we want to leave room. We want to leave room. That's right, Baja. Why are you limping? What have you been into? Huh. Oh, are you done watching me do that? Yeah, we need to cut off a little bit. So, this is a giant magic marker. Too big for the job, but it's what I have, so. Forget about it. And like I said, we want to make sure we wide enough you don't want it too narrow and then you can't fit in your package especially when it's wide like this so give a little extra width to be on the safe side and uh, set that aside luckily these bubbles are all in a line so even someone like me should be able to follow it, in theory. La, la, la. Oh, see that? I already screwed up. Okay. I'm not going to need all that. We went about this much to roll over. And, uh... We want it to be able to stand up flat, so we'll give a little extra on the bottom. And, uh, let's see, that's, I think that's pretty good. What do you think, Internet? Huh, huh, huh? Not bad, right? I think that might work. So we'll cut across this fold. Uh huh. Manners, we have company. The internet is here visiting. So, what are we doing? I have no idea. I'm lost now. <laughs> oh, well. Guess she told me. I should have made more attention and paid more attention in class. I think if I do this and crimp it, I'll still be able to stand it up when it's cooking my dinner or breakfast. I like the biscuits and gravy. I think that might work. Okay. Let's let's try this, shall we? We happen to have some gorilla to go. I'm told that uh, oops. Duct tape is also efficient. Uh -huh. I don't even see your ball. So we're uh, we're putting the tape in a straight line right along here. And here come our winds. Not a, not a breeze all day. Oh, 
will that still stand up you think I think it'll still stand up we'll flip it over and fold the tape over and I'll, I'll need to double tape that to make it pretty but I think I think we're on to something Maybe. We got our tape. Cut. Carefully. Fold it over. Uh -oh. I know the white side isn't nearly as pretty without Captain American shield there, but it's as the silver. But, okay, let's let's do a test run before we add more tape. You ready? Look at that. <gasps> Ta-da! And also, also, in the safe space I can actually carry the pouches in here while I'm while I'm uh, packing I'm just gonna I want to make sure my tape doesn't come undone it's bad enough when I come undone And this might be redundant or unnecessary or repetitive. Did I say redundant? Am I being redundant? Probably. Let go, let go. Uh-oh. -uh. What did I cut? <gasps> Just the tape. It's okay. No need to panic. Ta -da, doesn't that look pretty? Now we're gonna double tape this side. Just make sure it stays in place and does its thing. I know it's Gorilla Glue, it's supposed to, but you can't trust everything you see on the internet. <laughs> nothing and no one so there's the and I'm really bad at crafty type things by the way mechanical things uh, pretty much everything well there's some things I'm good at but we're not going to discuss that because that's none of your business, Internet. So, there's my pretty pouch. I think it might stand up with the... Yes. We're almost done. And this is a little more than it needs to be, the flat, but that's okay. i um, been known to do things to ex access, access, access. Excess the excess. So we have sticky back Velcro. And uh, we're going to sticky back. What do you think? Two? Think two will do it? Maybe three. Yeah. Maybe I should have, I don't know, lined it up better when I cut everything. <clears throat> Look at that! <laughs> Success! I think two might do it. I 
I love it when a plan comes together. Like I said, I, I am really not uh, good at projects and crafty. And... Ta-da! We have done it, Internet. You and I have made our own little cozy pouch. One more test. Um, so, boil your water. Throw it in, dump it in here. Stick this in here. It says wait five minutes, stir, wait another four minutes. So it says nine minutes, which means in real life, 20 minutes to uh, uh, fully dehydrate your stuff. Uh, but this might speed it up to nine minutes. Okay, man. I have to work on my standing up part, but overall, I'm happy with that. Like I said, I wanted the shiny side inside to reflect the heat back. That's my theory. And it'll be cool to touch on the outside. Probably not, but you never know. We finished one. So, thanks for watching. Uh, you guys have a great day and a great apocalypse, and we'll see you next time. Bye!